Hey YouTube, it's Prep for Life, and today we're talking about the Cobra Outside the Waistband Holster, uh, brought to you by Concealment Solutions. Uh, Jason was kind enough to send one of these over for me to test and review uh, for my Glock 43. That's what you're looking at right here. A really cool design. You're going to see that kind of braided or carbon fiber look. It's, it's just really, really slick. Now that the weather is getting a little bit colder, outside the waistband holsters become a very popular choice just because usually you've got a coat, you've got a jacket, something that helps you conceal this uh, outside. Now the benefit obviously being just the comfort factor. I think for carrying a pistol and ease of draw you really can't beat the outside the waistband just because it, it's there, right? This thing's going to sit on a couple of points here on your belt. It's, it's not going to require a different size of pants. It's not going to just be digging into your into your hip all day. Um, that That's the beauty of it. And as far as a draw, I mean, just pulling nicely right from the hip, strong side carry. Um, if you're just flicking back a jacket, you're, you're able to just pull that right out and engage. The, the real issue is just concealability. If you're going to open carry, then that's not an issue. If, you're, if you are looking to conceal, then the main issue is really going to be down here, this bottom half and below, which would normally be tucked inside a waistband. There, there are some options here. You'll notice just a little bit of adjustability on this Cobra. I've actually brought the clips down on the holster up just a little bit. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but about an inch here that, that just gives this much more of a rise in terms of just sheer stick to the side of the body, you can see the really slim profile. Now again, this is made for a Glock 43, uh, but I was so impressed with the quality and the build work of this holster, just the pride that Jason had taken in, in putting this together, um, that I actually went uh, and paid him to create another one for my Glock 19. Uh, again, outside the waistband holster and a set of mag pouches. Even with a uh, a good sized double stack pistol like the Glock 19, you still have a relatively low profile design. I've been able to carry this just underneath a jacket, really no issues at all. And when you're considering, let's say, a mag pouch or two to complement that, these are really, really slim. These aren't sticking out too far, especially the, the single stack Glock 19s. They're just tiny. Uh, they, they really do wear well. I like the design overall of the holster here. I mean, you can tell that uh, that the focus was really put into aesthetics. Um, as Jason had told me, he, he's not a big fan of, of just the box design. He really wants to put some elegance into these holsters. And, and you can tell. I mean, all the all the edges are very well finished. Um, and, and I've just been impressed. There is an excellent retention when it comes to this holster. Uh, a good snap as it pops in. And uh, not too much having to yank it out. I really find that it's the best of both worlds in terms of retention and ease of draw. And another big consideration for me was the quick clips. So really being able to pop this thing on and off a lot like you would with a hybrid holster uh, for, you know, hey, I've got to go into, uh, let's say, a federal building, someplace that I'm not allowed to concealed carry. I can pop that off, even get rid of the holster and tuck that, let's say, in a vehicle, uh, a vehicle safe, something like that. Now again, some people don't like quick clip options. Uh, I've seen this, I believe, on uh, Jaeger's channel uh, where he just felt like Murphy's Law would come into play and somehow this would become loose. I've been wearing this holster now for a month, maybe probably coming up on, on a couple of months. And uh, I mean, as you can see, there's just little wear and tear. I'm not even seeing any scuffs, but I have yet to have this thing loosen up. I've taken this out for a day uh, of shooting. Um, definitely have dry practice with it. I've just not seen any wiggle room. I ordered these in, a, in an inch and a half belt, which is what I normally wear. And just tucking that in, you've got uh, one side that clips inward, one side that clips outward, and it just couldn't be easier. And then of course, the mag pouches right here are, uh, are quick clip design as well. Definitely a variety of colors, um, availability to customize as needed. You can tell with both of these, there's a threaded barrel notch um, accommodating you know, the, the pistols that I use. Jason also did include an additional inside the waistband holster. This is uh, a little bit of a different take on the hybrid design. As you can tell, Kydex in front, leather in the back, but a little bit more of a small, quick tuck. Uh, it is a tuckable holster. I'm gonna do a review on this a little bit later because I really haven't had time enough to devote to this holster to really get a feel for it. So I'll bring this back to you again. I really want to be able to test these things out before I review them on the channel like I have with these holsters. I feel confident 
uh, in telling you these are fantastic holsters. I'm really impressed with the way they're made, the way that they function, um, and I would have no hesitation referring you to Concealment Solutions. Please check them out. Jason also does make inside the waistband holsters uh, as well as knife sheaths. So that's another video I'm going to bring to you here in, in a little bit is uh, some custom knife sheaths that I've had him make out of Kydex. I'm absolutely impressed. I just want to get a little bit more testing in and make sure that they are something that I would recommend on the channel. But so far, guys, yeah, wow, I, I really love it. So I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to share uh, to your friends. Hit the subscribe button down below and give me a like if I've earned it. And uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching.